Today I want to talk to you about an exciting new development in Swindon called The Lock. The Lock is being built by one of the biggest residential property developers in the country, a company called MCR. MCR have an impeccable track record, headquartered in Manchester, and in terms of a pipeline of property, they have an immense pipeline of property. These properties are complete, they're built, and they have no development risk, and they were built by one of the biggest developers in the country. Now let's talk about why we chose this development. To us at Opulent, we look at four key factors when we look at any property investment. And it's not every day that a development satisfies each of these four requirements like the lock does in Swindon. The first thing we look for is population growth. Swindon is at the gateway of the Cotswolds. What's more, it's also near neighboring towns such as Reading and Oxford, where quite simply it's become too expensive to live too expensive to buy and too expensive to rent. So what we've seen is an influx of people from these neighboring towns arrive at the doorsteps of Swindon, looking to make Swindon their next home, increasing the demand for property in the area, both from a sales and a rental perspective. And as a result, increasing property prices in the area. The second thing we look for is regeneration. Now, when you look at regeneration and you look at Swindon in particular, for many years it's been starved of that capital boost that's been required to uplift the town. That was until recently. Swindon Borough Council have recently embarked on a numerous amount of initiatives. First one being the regeneration of the town centre, somewhere that is a short, short distance walk away from this particular development. They rebuilt the town centre and it's now thriving. Um, there is also a regeneration scheme called the Kimmerfields Regeneration Scheme. That's a £35 million regeneration scheme to relocate the bus station in Swindon and to pedestrianise the entire road right outside the lock. Uh, and the aim is to in make this the main route from Swindon train station to Swindon town centre. And with that pedestrianisation will come a number of retail outlets and a lot of green park areas. So from a regeneration point of view, Swindon is investing. And we like that because off the back of regeneration comes more people and with more people comes more demand for property that subsequently increased property prices in the area. The third thing we look for is new businesses, number of businesses, a number of corporate companies within the surrounding area of a particular development. Now Swindon has the third highest employment rate within the country. It's home to big, big companies such as Nationwide, Honda, WH Smith, even Great Western Trains to name but a few. Now all of these companies who, who arrive in Swindon, they bring with them a high level of staff. And with that staff, those staff are gonna need places to stay. And obviously that's gonna increase the demand for property in the area and subsequently property prices and rental prices will increase over any given period of time. Rental prices in Swindon have increased on average at four to five percent per annum. Finally, what we look for in a project is the location. Now this particular location, in our opinion, couldn't be better. It's situated in SM1, so SM1 postcode. It's two minutes walk away from Swindon Central Station. And from there, you can access a train into London in a time frame of about 45 minutes, which makes this project prime for London commuter belt uh, tenants. As London begins to grow and begins to push out, what you'll find is more and more people will be coming to Swindon and will be travelling from Swindon to London to benefit from cheaper property prices. In terms of the actual project itself, um, it's a residential project. It consists of approximately 44 apartments, a mixture of studios, one and two bedroom apartments. Studios start from as little as £115,000. One bedroom apartments start from just £136,000 and two bedroom apartments start from £170,000. And the best thing is they're able to be financed, which means you only need to put down 25% of that figure to acquire a property as good as this in a good location that stands to benefit from long-term capital appreciation. But the average length of tenancy in Swindon is between 18 and 24 months. And from speaking to some of the local agents, the general consensus was it takes between two hours and one week to fill an apartment up 
for rental within Swindon. Next steps, in terms of next steps, if you'd like to talk to us more about this opportunity, you'd like to go ahead and reserve one of these opportunities, the reservation fee is £1,000. That reserves the property, that takes the property off the market. The next step is to introduce you to a mortgage broker, or if you're a cash buyer, you won't need to speak to a mortgage broker, but once you've agreed the mortgage, we'll then introduce you to the solicitors, you'll then go through the conveyance process, and within a period of four to six weeks, perhaps a little bit longer for some overseas clients, you will complete on this property. You can find a tenant and start earning that income straight away.